So here's my Hover Air X1 drone and uh, put in my palm here. Gonna send it up. Gonna hop on the bike. And then hopefully you can follow me. We'll see how that goes. Going pretty slow. Two kilometers an hour. I'm gonna pull out to the right here. I'm still going about 20, 20 ish. I'm gonna just turn here, continue to fall. Seems like it's doing an okay job. I think the drone just lost me over there. Oh, little guy. Well, looks like it stopped. So the hover air lost me. The uh, first acceleration, it just couldn't figure out uh, where I was. Hey, okay, here we go. I have my hover air X1 now set up in uh, follow mode, the high altitude follow. I'm gonna actually try to go straight and I'm gonna pick up some speed. So when there's a straightaway, pick up some speed and see if it's still able to catch up. Here we go. Go back and fetch it. I don't even know what happened. I was just uh, going straight and it just couldn't figure out where I was. I don't know how faster how slow I can go here. I think it's struggling in the wind. Okay. So unfortunately, it looks like uh, two gusts of wind here and uh, the uh, drone lost tracking. Uh, I did do a decent job there at the beginning, uh, near the tail, lost it a few times. Uh, I had to go back and face after it. I'm gonna pull out the DJI Neo now. And uh, wind seems to be picking up. I I hope it'll do better. Maybe uh, I guess we'll find out in a second. Oh, this is the uh, DJI Neo. It's not foldable. Uh, about the same weight. Uh, I mean, it's literally a cookie cutter copy of the Hover Air. Turn the power. Then you hold the power a second time to turn it on. You press the mode button. straightforward stuff and you hold the mode button here there's a countdown so that's the uh, DJI Neo now it's using a high altitude follow as well I get back on my bike see if I can actually uh, have it follow me have a little bit of a higher pitch which is uh, I think I'll be able to hear it over the engine. Okay, here we go. Might have lost it back there. See if it can pick me up again. I seem to be having a little bit of a tough time today. Drone couldn't find me, decided to just land. I'm gonna try to actually uh, cut my car to recording here. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn the Wi-Fi on and see if it does better. If I can at least see what it's doing, maybe that's a little bit easier. Now I can actually see myself here. I think that's a little bit better. <laughs> At least I can monitor what the uh, camera drone is doing. So let's go, let's find out.
See if I can actually fly this thing for me. So that's that in a nutshell. Um, Try two drones today. Conditions aren't as good as I wanted it to be, but. Um, I think it gives a good sense of what it's like if you're going to be riding a bike and using one of these things. I don't think it's that great for general riding, but I think that if you're just doing some a couple of cinematic shots for your intro or what have you, I think it's all right. And uh, I'm not firing it with the radio today, although I do have it. I have the Fly More kit. Um, I think that if I'm flying it, obviously, I have to follow people and what have you or I can connect it with the FPV kit the DJI goggles but while it's good for maybe some cinematic shots not great for following it gets lost pretty often um, I'm looking forward to the hover air beacon maybe that might have some better functionality because at least it knows where you are it can kind of come and find me right so we'll see how that goes but uh, I'm signing off thank you for watching this video and uh, look forward to the next one